Hello, welcome to my top 10 channel. Today, we're going to be listing down the top 10 different types of YouTube channels. By the way, that was number 10. Nine. <laughs> That's 6. Number 9. <laughs> you got it. Alright, so today we're not going to really do much. We're just going to, you know, we're just going to make fun of different types of YouTube channels. Uh, right now we're doing vlogs, because that seems like the most interesting. And, you know, we just got my room and all, you know, <laughs> Number 8. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is the beautiful Cubo98, and today we're going to be um, reviewing the the Kiwi Cube, Kiwi Cube, uh, yeah, four by four. So right now we're just going to be, you know, how how does it turn? Ooh, first layer is very nice. How about second layer? Oh, I really like the second layer really nice I like the shades too you got the really nice looking green here and the really nice looking orange and the really nice looking everything next how do, how do you count again number seven hey how's it going you guys uh, there's been a lot of hey comments down in my uh, comment section lately and I just like to ask you guys that or tell you guys that uh, the YouTube is just a website, and I just do this for fun and for a job, so I can live, you know, and I don't have to deal with all this nonsense. So anyway, let's get into it. So, we're just going to be playing some GTA 5. Oh, come on, come on, shoot him. Uh, uh, oh, come on, dang it, why did I fail? Next. Number... Number 060. Oh, wait, that's 9. <laughs> 60. Oh. Alright guys, so <laughs> So <laughs> I'm sorry this, this is genius anyway. I've been I've been thinking about this new video I can do lately and <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> I, I think I wanna do a prank on my stuffed monkey. <laughs> and it's genius. Okay, 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 okay. Shh. Hey Bobo, how's it going? I'm good. Well that's good Bobo. So, I just want to ask you a question. How's the weather down there? <laughs> Number five, we're going to be doing some storytelling channel. All right. Alright, so I'm with my friend, uh, Zane, and we were at Walmart, alright, and we were walking down, you know, aisle 9 or something. We were, just getting, we were just getting some green beans when this person over here decides to, to grab some green beans from a glass bin, don't tell me, or a glass jar, don't, tell, don't ask me why they were in a glass jar. So she takes them, she walks up to me and she says, here bitch, drops them right in between my feet. So that it looks like I did the whole thing and she just runs away. Like, legit. This happened just this morning. And we were doing the green beans so that I could fill my uh, bathtub with some green beans because I could, I feel like getting green beans. And we actually did that. Go watch my second channel for some of that. And number, s number four. Alright, so I've been testing for a while now on this slow-mo stuff. And I decided... Hey, I have a 2x2, and I have a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. I would like to see what they would look like if they collide. So, without further ado, let's do this. 3, 2, 1. Alright, number 3. Let's Hi, have you guys ever been sitting here and you're like, Hey, I got a new 2x2. Two two. Must be a lot easier than the 3x3, three three, right? Woohoo. So, then you stare at it and then you decide you're gonna scrabble the sucker. And you think, how am I ever supposed to solve this? This is the freaking, this is the video for you. If you're wondering a couple steps to solve it and you don't want the algorithms and you want to create your own, this is what you gotta do. You gotta watch my video. Alright, so what you're going to do first is you're going to solve this white side, the white face, because then you want to permeate the white face, which is, 
which is like that, which means it's a ring all around. Then what you want to do is you want to orient the yellow layer, which, which is pretty easy. Then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um, you're gonna want to permeate the last layer, which is really easy, and that solves your cube. Next, hey. Hey, how's it going? So, have you ever guys have you guys ever thought? So, what if you take an AC crap, an AC/DC album, and you threw it up, and you didn't want it to hit the ground because it hurts your album? Well, I'm going to explain why it does that. So, what happens when you do that is you take the CD and you. With the force of you pulling it up, it goes in the air because of the because time hasn't decided to bring down the gravity. Then you pull it up, and then gravity pulls it back down. Now, now gravity is always put pull down wherever the huge the biggest ma source of mass is. So in this case, it would be Earth. And number one, and my personal favorite. <clears throat> Hi guys, my name is the best guitarist 12578943218930 here, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing a song for you. It is a epic Christmas song. Don't worry about my uh, my tuning. I lost my tuner. <laughs> You're probably not going to be able to hear it because I'm not supposed to be playing after nine, but it's later. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for cringing. Thank you for laughing. Thank you for not leaving. I don't know what else to say. See you.